This tutorial is going to show you quickly how to do a Google custom search for your site. Uh, if you want to add a web search to your site but you don't want to pay for it or um, you just want to use Google's search engine on just your site. So this is going to look at how to do it on just your site that you're doing. So uh, the first thing you do here is go to the google.com slash CSE and make sure you're signed in. If you're not signed in you can't create a custom search engine. And then you would just click here on this link, Create Custom Search Engine, and it will start to walk you through the process. So first you give it a, a name, All right, and a description, uh, probably a little bit more accurate than that uh, if it was for a real website. Give it a language, then you have to give it the actual sites to search. Uh, so. So you do that, you type in your address, and what they can show here, if you're not sure about this, is if you click Learn More, it'll show you that this is generally what you kind of want. An entire site where you do the mysite.com, actually I, I forgot, I don't need the HTTP part, uh, I can delete that out, uh, and then hit asterisk at the end like that. So that little asterisk at the end says to search it, and you can do other things too with the wild cards. Um, so if you just write like about, it'll only find pages that have about in their name. You can put the asterisk before it to find subdomains uh, and and so forth. And you can also change this later and you can even add in sp specific pages, just the exact page that you want it to search as well if you only have a, a certain number of pages that you want it to search. There's also a couple different editions. The standard one is free that's going to have ads on the site. If you pay a hundred bucks you can get uh, them taken off and also and educational institutions can take the ads off as well. So once you fill that part out, relatively simple, click the I have read and agreed to the terms of service and click next. And then you're going to choose a default style. Uh, this is something one that you can actually change uh, later. Uh, you might type your search in here just to see and make sure it comes up with actual results there. Um, now here's my one part though. If you're searching a site that you're just creating now and you've just uploaded, chances are it's not been indexed by Google. So this search will probably return no results. So you still want to put up the the link to your index page. Remember, you don't instead of the index page, you would just put the asterisk to search the whole site, and then uh, uh, Google will go in and index that eventually. But it can take a little bit of time, so you may have to be patient about that in terms of it searching your actual site. So now I'm just going to click the next button here and go to the next page. All right, and uh, this is the the basic search element code, but that's sort of how they do it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to change that look and feel a little bit because what we want is a, a search bar on our site and then a separate search page that all our, our um, searches go to. So uh, I'm going to click look and feel. And then what I'm going to choose is the two page option. So that gives me search on whatever page I want and then it, they all direct to one page that they go and they search on. So we select that two page option uh, and then you can still have your style, you can customize it, it's pretty customizable. Uh, it lets you do sort of the global text, you know, font family, uh, what you want, what font you want, the search controls, you can, can change the border color, background color on, on most of these different things in terms of the search. Uh, and uh, on the results as well you can even change that and also in terms of full URL or domain only and whether you show thumbnails and, and, and so forth. So uh, once you have those two things set up you click this button here, save and get code. And if you ever need to get back to here um, at another time, um, you can just go to the get code area in your control panel. We were just before in the look and feel area there. So the other part is that I need to have a page that it's actually going to go to. So this is why it's important that before you do the Google custom search, you really actually have your website, you're able to upload documents to it. Because without that, this is basically useless and you can't even really test it prop properly. So. Um, here we go. The two elements here, I'm not even going to copy and paste them yet because first I need to do this part here, which is the URL where the search results are going to appear. All right? So uh, that's on my site. So, And we're going to 
change this up a bit. I made a default page. All right, so this is the results page. I put something there earlier just to to test out, but I want to make sure that that URL I have is working and it's going to results page. In fact, right now, why don't we look at this in um in Dreamweaver here or whatever option you want to use. So the important part here is that it would be sort of like if this was a website, I might have all these pages here, index, maps, you know, search, calendar, and so forth. They would all point down to the results page. So essentially this results page is where all my results are going to go, and I can put on there the search box on all the other pages, and it will go to that page. So I'm going to go to this results page right now. Um, I'm going to save this and upload it. So I'm, I sort of deleted all the previous results I had before. So we could see it. Uh, and then going back in here uh, just to show. So that's our results page that's on the web. So now what we want to do is, uh, now that we have this, we make sure we copy that. That's your actual URL. And you're going to paste that actual URL into here. And when you do that, it should update your code in these two boxes. So you have two boxes here. And essentially, box uh, one here is for the search. Right, so that's the actual search the little button you know here, and it's got a button that says search, and you click on it. And then the second box, box two, is going to take them to that page. So this is the other part: is look at that URL there and make sure that is the proper URL you want. So uh, that code here, I'm going to copy that and go back here. That's what goes on your results page, and it goes where you want it to go. All right. So I copied it and. Uh, pasted it and actually wait that's there we go um, so uh, it also put in a style in there uh, you notice to put that that style on the page uh, this is something uh, new Let's scroll down here and let you see so they actually uh, put that there so if you want to you could take this style and instead of leaving it on the page like it is right now I'm gonna leave it on the page for now you can take this copy it into your CSS file and then if you want to change things there you have the styles right there there the CSS is available for you and you can modify and change that CSS so uh, going back here into Dreamweaver I'm going to save this and we're going to upload this file by the way it's shift control U or shift command U on the Mac on in Dreamweaver to upload a file I'm just going to say no for dependent files for now uh, and then I'm going to go to the search page and that's where we're going to put the you know this is this would really be just any page on the site. Uh, I'm just making a separate search page for now, just to show you where to paste it. But you would paste the second piece of code. Sorry, the first piece that was the one up here. That was the number one. That's the actual search box. So I'm gonna select all that, copy, and then in Dreamweaver, paste that one in. And notice it has a bit of CSS on there as well that you can take and modify, and you can you can do your own CSS on it too. Okay, so uh, there it is, and now uh, I'm going to go and go to this search page on the web as well. So I'm going to upload this, and really this only works properly on the web. So you need to be on the web to, to use this and see it. So I'm going to go to the search page. Okay, so here we have the page now, and I'm going to type in some kind of search for it. And then when I search, notice the search goes to that results page that we had there. Uh, and puts in the query. And actually notice how you have a, a query string here too. So you could actually direct people directly to this page without them searching. You could just have a link and it would query your site that way as well. So it has here the ads and then you know my links and they're styled with that espresso or whatever style it, it had there with the thumbnails in it. So that is the search. Uh, the, main, the main part remembering to be that you have to put in first your actual search page and you have to upload all this to the internet, and then you have your two pieces of code, the code for your search box and the code for your search results.